Hi, my name is Juan and right now I'm gonna show you how to make uh, cream lotions for the hands. So I have written here the recipes for it. Today we're gonna make uh, hydration cream. Cream of aquasus, according to the uh, Hungarian book of uh, Pharmacopoeia. First of all, Let's look at an ingredient here. I have on the table what it needs uh, solid paraffin. Mm. As you can see here, liquid paraffin. Glycerol or glycerin, cetosterine alcohol, also you will need uh, this ingredients, it's very commonly found in any kind of cosmetics or hand washing liquids is sodium lowering sulfate you also need some water as well but here I use distilled water which is the standard issues <clears throat> to keep the solution no sorry to keep the cream stable and not growing fungal everywhere, you need solution conservants or preservatives. And lastly, you need some good smelling cream, right? So this time we use lemon oil. Let's begin. The equipment you need is here. The standard, the scale I bought for America. You also need a beaker. This is supposed to be a pan, but I don't have it, so I use these things. And you also need a spoon. You also need uh, an electric heater, or what is it called? An electric hot plate to melt the components. Let's begin. First of all, I measure 6 grams of paraffin solid, a solid paraffin, into the supposedly pan here. Always remember to record what you have measured, including the weight of the pan. Here we have 114 grams for the pan. You actually need to measure all the weight of these uh, things together. Okay, solid paraffin. You need 6 grams. Next thing is liquid paraffin. We need 10 grams. Tear them, 10 grams. The next thing is
glycerol. Or glycerin. We need 5 grams of glycerol. And then cetosterol alcohol. So these four components, I have to melt them here on the electric hot plate. So you can see here it's still very hot and everything is dissolved. So I, I let it be on top of the tables, protected here. Meanwhile, we continue with the beaker and measuring of other water soluble components. So we tear the beaker. Dissolved as sodium lauryl sulfate in 65 gram of water. First of all, the water. Actually, it doesn't matter because uh, once I have to heat it up, the water will evaporate. So I have to re measure and add a little bit extra the amount of water that had evaporate. And next is sodium lower sulfate. This stuff will ensure that the oily phase and the liquid phase mix together. Wait, I might need to wipe the spoon. Don't want any contamination into the stock solution or the stock. One gram. Zero okay, one one point zero gram. <coughs> Should be happy. The scale turns up just in time. I have to heat the water to the nearly the same temperature as the oil. Wait for about five minutes. So now I actually put back the uh, oily thing back here, so I want to ensure the two has nearly the same temperature when it has to mix together. Because you know, when the temperature is not matched between the two, there might be some bubblings or even explosion. Not an experience, it's quite dangerous, so it's better be on the safe side. So here I'm using the other ends of the spoon to help dissolving the sodium lauryl sulfate in the water and also I think we need the calculator because we need to calculate the amount of water that evaporate from our process of our heating okay now these two needs to be mixed together have to continue to stir and mix and stir and mix. Oof. Can you see? Phew. It needs 
to be the whole thing needs to be cooled down to room temperature. So I put it back here. Okay, cooling down. We wait till then. So after around 15 minutes, uh, you see, you can see here the cream, it turns out to be quite nice. Uh, yeah, creamy looking like this, very, very smooth. You can even see the consistency of it. It's quite nice. Yes. And it has to be nearly to room temperature because why? You know, <clears throat> I'm gonna add this uh, preservative, Solutio Conservans. It contains methyl paraben and some other alcohol related things. So, when it's still a bit hot in here, I mean, in this uh, kind of cream, the alcohol might be evaporating quicker and decrease the efficiency of uh, preservation. So, that's the reason why. So, Okay. <clears throat> so now I can collate, I measure the weight of these things to get together. 209.3 grams. <clears throat> I add the preservative, which is 1 gram. Preservative, mix them very well. Actually, you always have to mix them very well to ensure the home it has been homogenized. And right out of weight after. Okay, so lemon oil, we will add around 3 drops. This is a standard uh, lemon oil you can find in any labs in Europe. 3 drops. The weight of these drops are insignificant, so we don't have to really care. We have to complete the weight of the cream to 100 grams with water or we feel a little bit of uh, water that had evaporated during the process. How do we do so? So <clears throat> we now to tear the weight of the pan plus the weight of the spoon and plus the components. So you can see here, my calculator shows that 216.4 grams is what's supposed to be weighting. It's supposed to be written here, or read here, but it's only 211.0 grams. It means around 5 grams of water has evaporated. So I have to replace that. I put it back in. Say 1.6 no. 5.4 so 5.4 mixing like a cook. Well actually this cream making business is like cooking. The only thing different is that you you don't apply food to your skin but to your stomach. No, okay, we done. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos to come. Bye!